Welcome back to the channel. Now amidst the backlash the Andrew Holness administration is facing after confirming that the Jamaican island will be accepting Haitian nationals. The Foreign Affairs Minister, Kamina Johnson-Smith, says the government is working to allow for the legal movement of some 50 Asian orphans that will be accepted into the country amid the growing civil violence and unrest taking place in Haiti. And recently we see Haitian political parties saying that seeing that the Prime Minister has resigned, there was plans to just put a new acting Prime Minister in place. In the meantime, political parties have denied that solution, saying that a new leader must be elected by the people. And as something we hear barbecue say. And surprisingly, the international public not really know anybody as the face of the growing tension taking place on the Haitian country. As the people know barbecue, it's an individual that has been interviewed um documentaries about haiti have been made he has been featured in them we don't even know who are the political leaders for the party of haiti or leaders for the political parties from haiti i would know it says barbecue under the top man them over there and he must say you can't just put in place no prime minister where government people select he must say the people the haitian public have to select anybody who is going to be a leader accepted by the people and truth be told it must be an individual elected by the people if the people are accept him as a leader now the foreign minister said she saw a report that seemed to be giving the impression to jamaicans that jamaica was opening their borders to all asian orphans and all persons claiming to be haitian orphans are accompanying them and that is not the case at all she said what they said was, there's an orphanage on the Haitian soil that cares for about 40, no, 50 of the most disabled children and the mustard seed community has been working with them for the past, what she said would be a year. So she said the mustard seed organization, a known organization on the Jamaican soil has been working with this orphanage that is on the Haitian soil. And when you hear the situation, as she was quoted as saying, the facility is a private charity and the mustard seed is also a private charity. But the orphanage itself has been facing attacks by the violence that take place on the island. And so I guess the, the solution now is to have the children and the care of that orphanage move to the Jamaican island. So the people who are accompanying them are probably workers from that charity. And what takes place over there is very very complex a sad situation that takes place on the jamaican island with crime and violence and of course the state need to pay attention to what takes place on the jamaican side as them say dance a yard before you dance abroad we don't say all the people are the administration of the jamaican government could put focus on another country's issues while them have them own country's issues a tackle and i guess from this press conference them that try to explain that to the people say that is not what the administration is doing. The administration is just lending a helping hand in ways where they can help out. I never say, truth be told, that's something good for the part of the state. Sometimes a little help go far away. And if I even for those can help out this orphanage, you know what I mean? Of course, we know the concerns of the people. Even Haitians have shared their concern. Saying that in times of crisis, like obviously take place, are taking place in Haiti, you have the criminal element. Remember, one of the headlines coming out from Haiti is that there was a prison facility and individuals were let out from that prison facility. Now, whenever you have a situation like this with people leaving the country, criminals sometimes mix themselves in with law abiding citizens trying to seek. A safer place to dwell and that's our people concerned about will haitian criminals make their way onto other caribbean countries we don't know and there's no way where the state can guarantee that i said no that can't no hear them i say north america will be accepting the prime minister 
we know if them say they may go accept any other people from the Asian country. Carry come need to ask them that. Now talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Now aren't the other stories making headlines today? Now also making headlines today. We don't know if Cliff Hughes is just a said this or this was just an admission in the heat at the moment. As we see with Everal Warming and more some people just just start their mind. And Cliff Hughes say, you know, he has been a customer. On a back road. Now, as the interview was talking about entertainment projects set for Port Anderson Road in Portmore, as Portmore is now being set to be Jamaica's new parish. Cliff Hughes made this personal revelation. Maybe we couldn't hear what I got, and they will continue the reasoning. Nation. Look and listen. It's a big rub. Hold on. You're telling me, say that the red light business that go on a back road don't stop? Gone out of business? No, man, it's still there. Oh! It oh. will never go out of business. It's the longest profession. Maybe you're too the young to know that. The oldest profession. The oldest profession. The oldest profession. Maybe yes. you're too young to know that. No. Right. And I've been a customer at Backroad. You have been a customer. Johnny's. <laughs> or Andre's. <laughs> or Morgan's. But the reality is, Cliff, I'm planning some activities for around there. Some health education. Yes. I want to bring the health Where you making up? Why there. you make up that? Where you make up that vote for? All of us. Because you uh, said that you're a customer. Yes! All of us is a rite of passage. Growing up in Jamaica, in Kingston, you go back road. Uh, you have a, a time when you went to back road. Yes! Back and you go back road for a number of things. Chinese. What are you all making up? Look at them. Chinese restaurant. Look at them. Right? One of us start truth. to visit the dragon. It's a nice place. You can have a ferry that goes right into Port Back Royal. Ro yes, you grew up in Kingston. Yes, Back Road is a rite of passage. Not true, Big Rob. Absolutely. Not big, no, not true. Absolutely. Thank you very and I much. I will invite your staff to come down to Back Road. Them, 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 creating all kind of. Ex and truth be told, if Port Mago be a parish, and them go try for. Focus on the nightlife aspect. Cause truth be told, Port and the back road are the place we keep Portmore going after hours. Meaning, say, are the place where I generate income. One of the few are only places, differently from a 24 hour gas station, that income is still generating in, which is the city, but no, we can't say the parish of Portmore. I'm gonna feel like GDP, we'd have made more GDP if we'd have more places but home 24 hours. Now places like North America, majority of the cities we have the high GDP are cities where are 24 hour cities. This is like New York. You name the places. You have more businesses, whether that be restaurants, entertainment spots, but they move at night, primarily at night. There was also talk to legalize what the state or the system has coined as the oldest profession. A people say something, no, no, we will not live long enough to know said the oldest profession. But that's what them say. I don't feel like, you know what I mean, taking the opportunity to also push projects, entertainment projects, nightlife development. It's a good look. The more you think, if you just say, he has been a customer. Cliff Hughes said, like, they might talk to him like in the new house, but like in the new, what goes on. You also hear the government say, with Jamaica being the home of reggae, they might plan for also invest in the culture. And truth be told, when I say agriculture and entertainment are two industries that would have bringing billions for the Jamaican island. And for some reason, I feel like the state I deal with them two industries the right way. And the Minister of Entertainment, boy, should do our best. But truth be told, all the laws that were put in place were directly linked to entertainment, were put in place by other ministries. And the Ministry of Security really make the lack of time for dance is at way there. Meaning, say, the Ministry of Security recommend that 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock hour. After consulting the Ministry of Entertainment, of course, but we know for security reasons. 
while we can't deny when dance keep selector the people at the gate the security the police them the taxi man them carry the people them to and from all them people make money and all of these people represent industries from the bones of them security music people sound people from the selector to the people who take the box them off of the truck where are them get paid where are them generate lawful income the state if you take it into consideration me the master plan to develop on, develop on a back road some more because what i go on this is something so should also be implemented in other parishes as well if most business places lack at a certain hours then only nightlife can generate gdp nightlife can support restaurants and the transport sector people have to travel to and from they might want taxi people staying up late at night they might want food feed major industries so talk to me in the comment section tell me what you think if you're new to the channel so pass through click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon and of course put it on all and this is how you know be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform now until the reason again of course my sentiments for you and yours are going to live love and prosper and going to stay tuned until the reason again